Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue you're getting where it says that this process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first and hopefully the easiest solution would be to actually run the application or process with administrative privileges. So if you're unfamiliar with how to do that, if you have the file or the installer or somewhere on your desktop or potentially in your start menu, so let's say I'm just going to type in CCleaner for an example here. I'm going to just right click on the application instead of left clicking on it and then I'm just going to left click on run as administrator. Again, if you right click on the item and then left click on run as administrator, you should get a user account control prompt. You want to left click on yes. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just close out of there hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. So another thing you, you want to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt you want to go ahead and left click on yes to launch the command prompt command line window. So at this point I'm going to have a command in the description of my video, I want you guys to copy it from my description. Go up to then the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, you want to just type the Y key on your keyboard to confirm this operation. So once that's done, you have a blinking cursor, you want to close out of here. Head back to start button, type in reg edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, should come back a reg edit, you want to right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in the registry editor, you want to create a backup before you do anything, so just left click on the file, tab up in the top left, left click on export. Name the file, backup, whatever you want, and then just save it as somewhere you're going to be able to easily retrieve it. Make sure export range is set to all, and then left click on save. And if you ever made a mistake and had to go back to the earlier version of the registry, just would go up to the file tab, left click on import, and then you just would locate the file. So pretty straightforward on that. So once you made your backup, you want to go ahead and expand the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to expand. Now you want to do the same thing for the system folder. Now again, same thing for the current control set. Expand that. Now expand services. Now you want to look for something that says HTTP right here. Expand that. Expand the parameters folder. And now left click on list only list. On the right side underneath your binary data you want to make sure whatever IP address is in here is an accurate correct IP address. So if it's not you want to make sure you create a new one or you just modify this to the correct IP address. So pretty straightforward on that. Close out of here once you're done. And then you want to go ahead back to start button. Left click on it. CMD. Command prompt. You want to right click. Run as administrator. Left click on yes. Now the next command, we're going to just be turning on the HTTP stuff again, so top bar of the command prompt, right click, left click edit, and then left click on paste. This is the second command in the description of my video, so once you run it, it should say the service was started successfully, and it should be indicated that it has completed by a blinking cursor next to the C Windows System 32 path, or whatever drive Windows is installed on. So. Pretty straightforward tutorial, I like to think, guys. Um, I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.